Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst men, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Pope's prayer in pension for August 2012 that prisoners may be treated with justice and respect for their human dignity. Amen. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in to Catholic Digest. You are warmly welcome. At St. Dominic Catholic Church, Ejusu Estate, in the Kufuridra Diocese, two temporary professed sisters of the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters, SSPS had their final vow. The Vicar General of Kufuja Diocese, Reverend Monsignor Francis Chum Beruma, delivered the homily on vocation. Keep watching. At St. Dominic Catholic Church at Ajusu Estate in the Kufuja Diocese, Sister Francisca Ofori, SSPS, and Sister Matsuda Christ, SSPS of the Society of the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters, SSPS, profess their perpetual vow to God. Reverend Father John Echampon, SVD, Parish Priest of St. Dominic's Catholic Church, welcome all present. Reverend Monsignor Francis Chum Berima, Vicar General of Kofuja Diocese, centered his homely on vocation. When we look at the gospel reading of today, look. Jesus seeing the crowd had pity on them. He fell for them. He realized he couldn't do it all alone. And therefore he commissioned others to assist him. He sent them, knowing well that the mission he's given them was going to be a tough one. But at the same time, he told them, go with empty hands. I needed you yourself to go. Carry nothing with you. You just go, because I am with you. He showed them how to carry out their mission and how to behave. That was what message Jesus gave to his disciples he sent in pairs. Francisca and Matilda, I have three things to share with you this morning. Looking at the history about John Vianney, when you are sent on a mission, when you are given a job to do, first, as Jesus told them, he paid them. The two of you making a final vow today is very symbolic. He paid them, indicating that they will need one another. They will need their support. They will need to team up so that they will be able to bring the good news to present the kingdom of God to people. They will need to share ideas so that when you are going, you are not going to proclaim something personal. It is not your personal inspiration, your personal ideas. It is a community idea, the idea of the church. And this we are going to carry it out in this congregation of the SSPS. It is a community. You are today going to say that you are going to stay with this community forever. Know that you have accepted this call and this mission because you want to work within the confines of that community. Because you know that you have the community as your support. Members are there to support you just as you are there to support them. And you are not going to do what you like per se, but what the community asks of you. That is why the Lord paid them. You need the support of the people. You need the support of the community members. Don't go or don't be a loner. Whereby you absent yourself from community activities and you like to go alone, then the Lord said he's sending you like sheep among the wolves. If you go alone, you'll be swallowed up by the wolves. That is why you need the support of the other people to help you. When you are threatened, call upon the other. 